So many times when people tell me that once they actually experience the blockchain, use it for the first time, they absolutely loved it. Anton, hello. Thank you for joining Dugascobby TV today. It's a pleasure to have you back in our studio. And as always, it's always a fascinating topic always gets lots of people talking. We're going to talk about blockchain today. I'm sure people sort of ask you this all the time, but can you just, to start off with, explain to us what blockchain is? Sure. So just first to say that blockchain is by far the greatest innovation we will see in our lifetime. And, oh, and just to give a like, point of reference, the way internet transformed the way we exchange information, yeah. blockchain will transform the way we exchange assets. Now, in technical terms, what the blockchain is, it's a global, distributed and transparent database of transactions that absolutely anyone can access and there are no borders and boundaries. Now, if we think about you know, the current financial system, how it works, you have that one central authority, they have all the power and kind of, they kind of decide what's the truth. But blockchain is completely different because actually the power is distributed among many entities and decisions are actually made by consensus. And what's very interesting is today, for instance, if you want to wire money to your family or somewhere, then everything is so non-transparent everything is so slow and you pay a lot of fees and you don't really know why you're doing that. But blockchain is completely different because it actually gives the power to the average user. It's extremely cheap and affordable and it's just very much uh, safe and fun. So many times when people tell me that once they actually experience the blockchain, use it for the first time, they absolutely loved it. And so why, why is it called the blockchain? Yeah, so actually this is by far the most common question yeah. I ever get. And I mean, just to give an illustrate, I was a couple of weeks ago at the UN in New York and then a few days ago in Liechtenstein to talk about uh, our work and always the same question. Tell me the secret, why is it called the blockchain? Now literally what the blockchain is, is just a series of blocks with transactions put in a chain. Mm -hmm. So for instance, if you and I do a transaction, that transaction is put in a chain, in a, excuse me, in a block, and once the transaction is verified, it's actually put at the end of a large chain of blocks. Mm -hmm. So that's actually the secret why it's called the blockchain. Fairly simple then. <laughs> um, so li liquor is one that's been around for, for quite a while now. What, what are your sort of future plans regarding that? So just the first mention is that Lique, I mean, yeah. we have actually built a global marketplace on top of the blockchain and through an application that's called Lique Wallet, any user can trade digital assets that are on the blockchain and kind of are what what really separates Lique as a different company is that we address the three issues that bother users the most, and that's security, regulation, and liquidity. And I'll, I will illustrate. For instance, security, people have heard many times that exchanges have been hacked and that hackers stole a lot of money from the clients, so people are very concerned about the safety of their assets. So the, we, the way we solve this problem is that we actually built something called a semi-decentralized exchange, and that means actually that the client is all the time in possession of his asset through the Lika wallet. So the hacker can actually not steal his assets. And the second about regulation, I have to say that Lika has truly been a pioneer here, and we have worked with the regulators from the start to make our exchange and our application safe and secure. Uh, so that means that actually every client who wants to use our exchange, he has to pass uh, uh, know your customer and we will also enforce anti-money anti laundering procedures. So that means we want to keep the bad people away. And finally, when, uh, when any asset is list, listed on the blockchain, immediately we provide liquidity by uh, uh, deploying market-making algorithms. And this is where my experience actually comes into play because before I was a high-frequency trader at a hedge fund. And I just have to say that the best thing about Lika is actually that everything is completely free. Mm -hmm. There are no transaction fees. And Lika actually makes money as a market maker on the flow. And I I just want to say is that to basically to an outsider who are not familiar with Lique, we might seem like a crypto company with an app, but we are far more than that. Just to illustrate, we have 
almost 100 people working at Like, and there's going to be a lot of new things coming in the in the near future. And to just you know give a little bit of flavor about this, we're going to very soon release margin trading. We have streamlined the procedure for the so-called initial coin offering when you can raise capital. We have big projects with the banks and financial institutions. And finally, in a couple of months, we're going to launch an asset management company that will invest in cryptocurrencies and digital assets. I'm sure you've been getting asked more and more recently. It seems that the blockchain and cryptos especially are just growing and growing in popularity and it's, and I'm sure it's going to keep going. But how, how can people join the blockchain movement? So I actually get this, I get this asked a lot because a lot of people really are enthusiastic about the technology. They know this is the future, but they tell me that sometimes they feel that it's very complicated and they're just unsure what to do. So just to kind of give, you know, clear procedure is that first I invite the audience to download Lika Wallet. And then as soon as they do that, they need to uh, complete a simple onboarding procedure and that's for safety and regulation so we actually have only nice people at exchange and as soon as they have done that they're ready to use the blockchain they can wire their they can fund their wallet uh, by wiring a Swiss francs then they can actually trade digital currencies for instance they can exchange Swiss francs for euros or for dollars or for yens they can also purchase cryptocurrencies and for instance they can also purchase digital assets and to like give you an illustration Lika has, we have listed our own shares on the blockchain. So if people want to become our shareholders, they can actually purchase the shares on the black, uh, blockchain and become our investors. So it's actually very simple and easy, just with the right approach. Amazing, it sounds awesome. I think I'm gonna give it a try myself. Yeah. Thank you Thanks very much. On. Thank you so much, it was it's been a pleasure. a pleasure. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching. And if you'd like to find out more and see more interviews about blockchain and cryptocurrency, head over to dukoscopy.tv.